Mama, you told me that you would tell me Dexter and Dee Dee's environment story. Oh, dear. I am so sorry. I forgot. I will tell you the story now. Yippee. Let's go. Hi, Dexter. What's up? I am doing some work. Do not disturb me. Can I help you? No, thanks. You can help me by not helping me. Okay. I am going shopping. Do you need something? No, wait. Take these reusable bags and do not take any plastic bags from the shopkeepers. Okay, but why so? DD, don't you know? We have to protect our environment. Oh, but how? Protecting our environment starts with you. First go and turn off that tap. Do not waste any water. The three R's reduce, reuse and recycle, get a lot of attention. But the planet could benefit from some focus on the most important and most underrepresented R, refuse. Next time you're tempted to purchase or accept a non-essential item, think about whether it would truly improve your life. If not, it's okay to just say, no, thanks. Refusing to allow unneeded items into your life can save you money and reduce the amount of clutter in your home. Let your food waste rot naturally in this oil instead of sending it to the landfill. In other words, compost. Choose reusable over single use. Think about how many people you see each day drinking beverages from disposable cups or disposable bottles, sipping from disposable straws, carrying disposable grocery bags, eating from disposable plates or containers and using disposable utensils. All that single-use plastic has to go somewhere, and it's had a devastating effect on our soil oceans and marine life. Get creative with your useless or unwanted items by upcycling, basically, turning trash into treasure. Creating something new such as artwork, toys or jewelry is both satisfying and one of the best ways to protect the environment. Not only does it keep items out of the trash, it can prevent having to purchase new items. Instead of heading to the mall to buy new clothes, consider looking first in a thrift store or vintage shop or trading clothes with friends. You can breathe new life into your wardrobe without wasting the precious resources needed to produce new clothing. Shopping secondhand also applies for many other categories of consumer goods, children's games and toys, shoes, appliances, furniture, cars and more. Buy local. While we're on the topic of shopping, it's important to think about the path your stuff takes just to get to you. All that packaging, combined with the fuel needed for delivery, really takes a toll on the environment. Instead, check out your local farmer's market for fresh, package-free food, try eating at a farm-to-table restaurant, and buy from local artists, clothing makers, and retailers before you click for that two-day shipping. Walk, bike or carpool. For short trips, try walking or biking, you'll also get a healthy dose of exercise in, without setting foot in a gym. If traveling on foot or two wheels isn't feasible, try carpooling with a friend, neighbor or co-worker to a mutual destination. Use less water. Conserving water at home is one of the easiest ways to protect the environment. Think of all the times you consume water, both inside and outside your home, then, make adjustments as you can. For example, turn off the tap while you brush your teeth. Fix leaky faucets. Make your water use more efficient by aerating faucets, using sprinklers that reduce runoff and installing low-flow toilets and efficient shower heads. Collect and use rainwater for watering plants. Shorten your shower by a few minutes, or skip it altogether if you don't really need one that day. Only run your dishwasher or washing machine when it's full. Conserve electricity. As you can guess, we're quite fond of this method of protecting the environment. Anytime you can use less electricity, it's a win for the planet. Plant a tree. Trees provide food and oxygen. They help save energy, clean the air, and help combat climate change. Shop wisely. Buy less plastic and bring a reusable shopping bag. Volunteer. Volunteer for cleanups in your community.
educate. When you further your own education, you can help others understand the importance and value of our natural resources. Print as little as necessary. Eat vegan. Try eliminating the amount of meat, fish or dairy you eat each day. Doing this will help to cut greenhouse gas emissions and reduce energy consumption. Thank you Dexter. For these super important tips. I will definitely follow these. Now I am going to buy some fresh fruits and vegetables from the market. No non-vegetarian food and no useless shopping. I will save my environment. How did you like the story my child? I love the story mama. I also learned so many ways of protecting our environment.